Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Doctor Who Reacts video here today for the season two finale. Oh my god, I have loved season two. Honestly, David Tennant, uh, especially him and Billy Piper's kind of chemistry has been amazing. I'm especially hyped after the last episode. If you haven't seen the episode 12 reaction, I'd highly recommend going to see it, okay? Because it sets things up incredibly for this finale. Um, because I've been covering this episode. We have the promise of the Cybermen of here, and via ghosts, they have invaded the entire Earth. We had a mysterious sphere which opened containing Dalek. So we have Cybermen and Dalek here. Mickey's here. He followed the Cybermen over to try and stop them. And all of this episode, all of this started, the episode 12 started with the promise of this is the story of how Rose Tyler died. So, <laughs> a lot going on. We promised an episode with Cybermen, Dalek, and Rose Tyler dying. Oh god, I'm scared. <laughs> So much is about to happen, I fear, and I can't wait to get into it. I don't know about you. So without further ado, let's just do it, shall we? Let's jump right into Season 2, Episode 13, the Season 2 finale of Doctor Who, Doomsday. Dalek! I know your name. Think about it. How can I know that? A human who knows about the dark and the time war. Want to know how I can keep us alive? You will be necessary. Oh my god, pop off Rose, <laughs> immediately jumping right to it. She's not, okay, she's not afraid of Dalek at this point, okay? I guess once you absorb the time vortex and literally disintegrate Daleks from time itself, they kind of lose their allure a little bit. <laughs> uh, big play, working out in the end, okay? I know you, I know who you are. If you want to know how, don't kill us. It worked. <laughs> What is the status of the Genesis Ark? I'm a nation of the Genesis Ark must be protected above all else. But Dalek, she said they're all dead. Never mind that. What the hell's the Genesis Ark? I agree with Rose. <laughs> like Mickey, I get where you're coming from. You know, she said they were all dead. The Dalek do it a lot, okay? <laughs> she thought they were all dead. Then there was one in episode 6. And then they thought they were all dead. But then they came back in episode 12. It's a finale. The Dalek showing back up. You know, the Dalek somehow have returned. <laughs> Is expected, Mickey, so don't stress too much. What the hell is a Genesis Ark? <laughs> it must be protected at all costs. So whatever it is, isn't very good, I'm assuming. She was in that room with the sphere. What's happened to Rose? I don't know. I'll find her. I brought you here. I'll get you both out. You and your daughter. I promise you. I give you my word. Oh. <laughs> my God. I don't know how Jackie's going to feel about that, because he, he promised her he wouldn't, you know, get Rose into any trouble. Here we are. <laughs> Jackie, very concerned. Doctor promising to get Rose and Jackie out of there safely. I'd love to believe him, but the pretense of this is the story of how Rose Tyler died doesn't fill me with hope exactly, Doc. You need to your central world authority and order global surrender. We haven't got a central world authority. You have now. I will speak on all global wavelengths. Okay, that popped off. <laughs> she, she's like, we don't have a central world authority, okay? We're, we're split off into different things. <laughs> and Simon's like, well, guess what, hon? You got one now. <laughs> that was smooth. Okay, that was smooth. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, they didn't kill that family, which I guess is one thing. They have imprisoned them with the promise of making them all identical, turning them into Cybermen, which, you know, not the best also, but I um, <laughs> haven't killed them yet. S small, small silver lining in the massive cloud? <laughs> oh my god, that's horrific. Jesus. Dalek going with, you know, who's the least important, okay? We got three hostages, which is which of you is you know able. <laughs> Sadly for you, Doc, you know, you're not a main character, so <laughs> you are the least important around here. Goodbye. Um that is brutal though. Suction to death by free Dalek. You know, again, down on his knees, they all approach. It's feeling like a very different show. <laughs> um, and then it get, they get, he gets, 
<laughs> There's an easy joke to make. I'm not going to make it. <laughs> Scans detect unknown technology active within spare chamber. Cybermen will investigate. Unit 2658 will investigate spare chamber. Oh my god, wait, wait. <laughs> are the Cybermen and the Dalek going to beef? Because <laughs> the Dalek are here, I assume, to take over the world. The Cybermen have already decided they've taken over the world. And the Cybermen and the Dalek are about to beef, because that, that's going to pop off. <laughs> the, do the Doctor just on the side is shocked enough to Dar the Cybermen are here. The Dalek shop, and then they start beefing, you know? <laughs> when your ops meet up, and they're ops too, suddenly. <laughs> You didn't have to kill him. We didn't need him alive either, did we? <laughs> I mean, fair points on both sides, I suppose. But one of them is the giant evil death machine. So I guess, you know, Rose <laughs> sides who I'm on. Dalek may investigate outside. Units open visual link. Establish visual contact. Identify yourself. Oh my God, the doctor's face. <laughs> Oh my god, them seeing each other for the first time. The Dalek and Simon will not stand no, no, but they're both just going to be like, identify yourself. Identify yourself? No, 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 I asked first, mate. <laughs> the Doctor's face. There's already so much going on with the Simon ever taken over the world. And now he's like, oh, for Christ's sake, the Dalek are here. But most importantly, the Dalek are here and they have Rose. You will identify first. State your identity. You will identify first. Identify. Ah, get roasted, get roasted. <laughs> Simon, it was Simon one Dalek nil, okay? <laughs> the Dalek identified first. The curse of speaking in the third person. <laughs> the absolute curse of it from the Dalek there. She's on such, she's alive. Why haven't they killed her? Oh, God. <laughs> the doctor getting very worried, just like Jackie there. Like, you know, the Dalek here, have they killed Rose? He's taking the big risk, you know, grabbing the phone, calling Rose to make sure she answers, confirming she's alive. That's the that leave the question of, you know, why haven't they killed her? Whilst the Dalek over there roasted the side, and they're like, okay, you might want this round. I identified first, all right? But I recognize that outline, you inferior mf -er. <laughs> Oh my god, this beef <laughs> between Simon and Dalek is something I did not know I needed, but I am here for it. Oh Christ, no, <laughs> no, 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 beef. Back to the beef. <laughs> <laughs> Simon getting a last wrote in. Your design is not elegant. Dalek don't go for elegance. Well, that, <laughs> that goes without saying, honey, looking at this. <laughs> oh, no. Cybermen and Daleks designs compatible. Do you propose an alliance? Please don't propose an alliance. Get back to beefing. Request denied. Hostile elements will be deleted. Exterminate. Oh, get done. Dalek turning it down. Simon's like, maybe we could team up. Dalek's like, Pfft. well, you're bomb ass. Hell no. <laughs> Dalek, I ain't playing like that. Even Simon's laser's not getting through that field Dalek have around them to help themselves. Okay, they got to go for the eye. I've learned that enough. Um, and then getting exterminated. <laughs> one, one. Dalek, pull it back. One, one. You have declared war upon the Cyberman. This is not war. This is pest control. We have five million Cybermen. How many are you? Four. <laughs> oh, my God. Could the Cybermen and the Dalek just beef every episode? Because this is incredible. <laughs> you have declared war on the Cybermen. A war, it's pest control. <laughs> We got five million. How many you got? Four. <laughs> but even with four, the Dalek says, they're like, you know, we will still take you. <laughs> and the weirdest part is, I fully trust that they would. You would destroy the Cybermen with four Daleks. We would destroy the Cybermen with one Dalek. <laughs>
The Dalek are so confident, but once again, I fully trust them actually, because this Dalek are just so OP. You know, it always takes a summer to summer realizing, you know, just focus the aim on the Dalek's eye. <laughs> I, you know what? I, I, I love the confidence. You are superior in only one respect. What is that? You are better at dying. Right. <laughs> I feel confident of saying 2-1 Dalek, okay? They have won the verbal slag off right now between the two leaders. <laughs> because that's a bar. I'll give it to you. You're bearing me to one thing. Oh, what's that? Dying. 10 out of 10. The back away like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I love it. Five million Cybermen, they weren't scared at all, okay? One man with a screwdriver, a police box, and 3D glasses, they're backing away. They're rethinking their choices right now. <laughs> because, yeah, the, the, oncom the, oncoming, the oncoming storm is here. And God help all of us. <laughs> God help all of us. Also, <laughs> the female's heartbeat has risen. Mickey, oh, tell me about it. <laughs> oh, Mickey. <laughs> Doctor and Jackie getting separated. Jackie, I mean, not happy at all, okay? Doctor said he'd keep her safe, said he'd keep Rose safe. Yeah, Rose is down, with the Dal down there with the Dalek. And now Jackie's being taken off by the Cybermen for upgrade. You know, Rose has already had to watch her mum be upgraded to a Cybermen once. And even a version of a mum who wasn't actually a mum, that was hard enough. But seeing her actual mum ha happen to her. <laughs> oh, God, that, that might be enough to kill Rose, okay? Let alone the war going on. <laughs> oh, whilst they hold the Doctor for questioning. On the Dalek, because yeah, his heart rate <laughs> increased as well when the Dalek showed up. Fair enough as well. Cyber threat irrelevant. Concentrate on the Genesis arc. Why are we being kept alive? They might need me. What? What is it? That is an interesting one. Or is it they might need me? What is it? What might they need her for? Well. Oh, God. Let's go over it. I mean. Rose and the Dalek do have a big history, of course. Okay, episode six, Rose was the one person who could change the Dalek. And she changed the Dalek to be more human to the point it had to itself. Um, and in episode 13, Rose is the one who destroyed all the Dalek. So, I mean, Rose and the Dalek are very intertwined, you know, throughout all of it. So, it would make sense that they need her. I'm not so sure specifically what for, but it does it, a lot of history there. What's upgrading mean? What do they do? I think they remove the brain and they put it in a suit of armor. This is your fault, you and your Torchworth! I did my duty. Oh god, that's painful. Jackie fully understand or that's your fault. I mean, yeah, Torchwood did do all of this and they just left that portal alone. It could have been different, but they kept shooting it, kept, you know, breaking the glass more, and then the side metal break through, you know. But still. Oh god, <laughs> having to be forced to walk to that is just <laughs> unimaginable. Hell, hell no. You are proof that emotions destroy you. Yeah, I am. Mind you, I quite like hope. And here it comes. Jakey boy! Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for him. I was waiting for him. I said last episode, Mickey says, that means Jake's here as well. And here he is! He finally shows up, and they've recruited more people to help him. Which, thank God, and they've brought the weapons they have to take out Cybermen. And they've taken all these out, Doctor's safe, and Doctor can go save Jackie before she gets upgraded. 10 out of 10, Spike. So happy to see you, mate. Missed you. Go on, Jackie, get out of there. <laughs> so they're losing track of things because, you know, the boss just died. Um, <laughs> company hierarchy, an absolute mess. But you know what? <laughs> he was the first guy to find out. And so he just said, so this seat's open? Well, well, well. <laughs> Got a new cyber leader. You can't just pop from one world to another. We just did with these. 
But that's impossible. You can't have this sort of technology. Got our own version of Torchwood. They developed it. Do you want to come and see? No! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, like, <laughs> good for you for coming up with that technology. You know, happy for you. That's incredible. Um, but now is not the time because Jackie is getting upgraded and Rose is trapped with the Dalek spike boy. So, Jakey, love ya. Missed ya. Take me back. <laughs> I've got to get back. Rose is in danger and her mother. Better be Jackie, my wife in a parallel universe. And as for you, Doctor, at least this time I know who you are. Right, yes, fine. All right, I've got to get back. Now you're not in charge here and you're going to listen for once. Oh, for Christ's sake, Pete. Jake, I liked you, spiky boy. Don't push your luck. <laughs> Do not push your luck. Oh, what does Pete want? Yeah, yeah, your wife's dead, okay? I'm sorry. She got upgraded. But, you know things to do okay move on please <laughs> that was like six episodes ago mate come on it's time well i can't think what the daleks need with me what happens inside the ark is waking up i've seen this the first time i saw a dalek it was broken but i touched it right back to when you're traveling time you saw a couple of these background radiation in the time the daleks evolved so they could use it as power well. okay that's a good point from rose actually yeah 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 so just like then maybe they're keeping her alive because all that radiation because she'll have a hell of a lot of that background radiation <laughs> that they might want to use to help fully wake up whatever's in the arc they have there and for mickey he's been in the tardis so he's got that radiation too and additionally i don't know what kind of radiation is generating jumping across of you know different multiverses <laughs> but whatever it is you know <laughs> maybe that's useful as well you've traveled in time either one of us would do but why would they build something they can't open themselves the technology is stolen and who built it the time lords what's inside the future no <laughs> why is that even scarier than if the dalek made it what is in there made by the time lords on their own world oh, if only the doctor was here he might know <laughs> oh god the mystery grows this show there's always so many mysteries <laughs> i do not have the brain for it sadly i don't think temperatures have risen by two degrees in the past six months that's not just global warming is it no. you can see all the breach five million cybermen stranded on my own that's your problem Pete tyler here you are alone back on my world jackie tyler might still be alive my wife died her husband died good match <laughs> true my wife died her husband died you have so much in common <laughs> oh god yeah, you keep over there about that breach, which you guys are constantly doing with your necklaces. <laughs> All going very, very wrong, okay? Not a good thing for either of us. One of them to seal the breach, you know, traffic all the side men on his Doctor's world. Doctor's not going to be a big fan of that one, but they don't care. I mean, he needs to get back, though. <laughs> I don't know how, but he does need to get back, so he needs at least one more jump. Well, close the breach. Stop the side men. Defeat the Dalek. Do you believe I can do that? Yes. Maybe that's all I need. Off we go, then. Jackie, rely. Any sort of sign. A fire extinguisher. Yeah, that helps. That's so funny. <laughs> That's so Jackie. Is there any way to identify where you are? She doesn't look at the floor number. Um, there's a fire extinguisher. <laughs> like, thank you, Jackie. That's great to know. In case you know, a fire breaks out amongst all the side men of Dalek here. But you know, a bit more info, maybe. <laughs> oh. Yeah, maybe Doctor so just need a little bit of belief. Because I fully believe he can close the breach, kill the Dalek, stop the Dalek, stop the Cybermen, say bros, save the day. I have full faith in that, honestly. Sorry, no white flag. Only had a sheet of April. Do you surrender? I surrender unto you. A very good idea. That damn smile. <laughs> the Doctor and that damn smile. As him and his white A4 sheet of paper surrender <laughs> to the Cybermen. <laughs> is, it, is, it, is it apologizing? Sorry, it's not a flag, you know. Needs must. Alright, if you escape the time vault, don't you want to know what happened to the Emperor? The Emperor survived. I took the time vortex and poured it into his head and turned him into dust. <laughs> Pop off, Rose. <laughs> Just like that. If I'm dying anyway, I gotta you tell you, I killed your god, your Emperor. <laughs> Dead me. That was me. <laughs> like, hey, if, if I'm going to die in this anyway, I'm roasting you. <laughs> You've got to know what I did. <laughs> like, go on. Also, yeah, Rose said no initially to doing it, obviously, and then, then threatening to hurt Mickey, which also helps explain why they kept him alive to use him as, you know, a threat to get Rose to do what they want, which makes sense. <laughs> you will be exterminated! Oh, no, hold on, wait a minute! Let's go on the Oh, yeah. Mickey, 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 nice to see you. And you, boss. Oh, <laughs> nice little reunion at last between Doctor and Rose and Doctor and Mickey. 
aid. Happy to see each other. <laughs> Whereas Rose laughing right in the face of a Dalek. The Doctor would be so proud. <laughs> they're, so, they're getting really annoyed. The Doctor coming in to break this engine. Because there's one thing Dalek hate more than someone who killed their literal Emperor and God. It is the Doctor. <laughs> did you survive the time war? By fighting. But you lot ran away. We had to survive. What's so special about you? Doctor, they got names. Daleks don't have names, do they? But one of them said they were... Dalek Faye Sep Jaskon. Aw. Hello, Dalek Faye Sep. Jack and Khan. Lovely to meet the four of you. <laughs> Rose, very right. Dalek don't usually have names, but this gang does. And, you know, howdly doodly. How you all doing? <laughs> As the Doctor gets to call someone else a coward once. He's always being called a coward, especially by the Dalek. So, you know, it's good that, you know, this time he gets to turn around and call some Dalek cowards. The cult of Scar, a secret order. Above and beyond the Emperor himself. Their job was to imagine, think as the enemy, find new ways of killing. But that thing they said it was yours, what does it do? I don't know, I've never seen it before. But it's time, Lord. Both sides had secrets. That's fair, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't know everything, you know. He wasn't Time Lord King or anything. <laughs> he wasn't into everything going on there. Whatever they were doing with this arc. And this is the cult of Khan, did he say? Cult of Scara, I think he said. Khan was one of the Dalek. Dalek Khan, apologies. Um... Order created to above the Emperor of all people to think like other races, like the Time Lords, like humans, to kind of have better ways <laughs> to kill them. <laughs> Which, yeah, sure, killing machines gotta always be improving the game, I guess. <laughs> Doctor will not. You have no way of resisting. Well, got me there. Although, there's always this. A sonic boot. Screwdriver. Very good. Opening doors. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Because I was going to say, Doctor surrendered to the side, but then I can see later, he's just there with the Dalek. Okay, okay. So he said, wait, he said to the Cybermen, uh, I surrender with like, what, is, what was his phrasing? With an idea? With a proposal? Not a proposal, that was written too on time, but with, with something. And obviously the plan was, he went to them saying that, I'll go in. I'll blow up the doors and then you can go in. And they've got their guys in as well. And they've given the Cybermen some guns <laughs> that can get past the Dalek, which is smart. <laughs> 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Working with the Cybermen for a moment to take out the Dalek. Well, to save Rose above all. He'll work with anyone to save Rose, let's face it. Oh no. <laughs> Chaos. Chaos is everything that's going on. Rose tries to run. She slips. Thinks she's lost it. Pete makes the save for her, his alternate Earth daughter. Of course he does. Shout out Pete. Gets her out of there. Mickey goes to get out, but the Dalek repower up enough. Kills some Cybermen. One knocks into Mickey, sending him backwards. Catches himself on the arc giving it that touch. Mickey, having been in the task as well, has that radiation from the energy into Time Force and all that mentioned, like Rose did. Not as much as Rose, but he still has some, probably enough. To open this bad boy up, oh no. Pete! Hello, Jack. I said there were ghosts, but that's not fair. Not a ghost. But you're dead! It's Pete from a different universe. Oh, you can shut up. <laughs> the sly little smile on Mickey's face at the doctor being told to shut up. <laughs> the amount of times he wanted to do that. <laughs> Get a little bit of joy of that. Fair enough for Jackie for being a bit, you know, confused here, okay? She's worried her daughter's dead. She's worried she's going to be killed and upgraded here. Suddenly she's saved. Happy. Rose is okay. Happy. Her dead husband's here. What? <laughs> is a ghost. Not a ghost. Parallel Earth. Shut up, Doctor. <laughs> Give me a minute to think. Give me a minute to go over this in my head, please. You look old. You don't. You were left on your own. You didn't marry again. There was never anyone else. 20 years, then nothing with myself. Brought her up. Huh? Rose Tyler. That's not bad. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I think both of them needed this damn moment, okay? <laughs> both curious about each other. She's been on her own for 20 years. He's had a Jackie there for 20 years. You know? He's at the Pete that's lived for another 20 years. Her worried about her life, you know, seeing everything that he's done. She, without him, just did nothing in her eyes. But, you know, she raised Rose. And look how great Rose has turned out, you know? Greatest accomplishment, you know. In my world, it worked. All those daft little plans of mine. Maybe rich. I don't care about that. How rich? Very. I don't care about that. How very. 
<laughs> My plans work. They may be rich. Oh, I don't care. How rich? Very. Well, I don't really care about it. How very rich? <laughs> oh, Jackie. <laughs> Thing is, though, Jax, you're not my wife. I'm sorry, but you're not. I mean, we both. Oh, come here. Oh, yeah. He's trying to be, you know, rationalising, saying, hey, you're not my wife. This isn't real. We both lost our versions, you know, the other, our versions of each other. But then just not caring, okay? Who cares about being rational? The person you love and you've lost is right in front of you, or at least a version of them is, and both of them. Both of them really needing that hug, okay? Both of them really needing that hug. This is incredible. <laughs> I'm loving it so much. This is reminding me. Does anyone play Overwatch? <laughs> you know, the game mode where you have to... I can't remember what it's called. The Guardian or whatever, where you have to lead the... It's like a float or a car and you have to lead it down the track. You know, following the path from point to point to point in a set time limit, yeah? Attackers, defenders. This is reminding me of this. <laughs> the Dalek are defending the Ark against all the Cybermen trying to stop them. But, I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, four Cybermen, Dalek is still living and lots of Cybermen dead bodies are lying around. So, <laughs> it's not as much of a challenge right now, is it? Emergency, all units will converge on the Torchwood Tower. I mean, families are free, for a moment at least. <laughs> All of the Cybermen called in. Because, yeah, you know, if we can't stop the Dalek here and now, then it's over for us as an invading force. So, you know, everyone get here, please. It's going to be a bit trickier and a bit longer journey for the Cybermen like in Paris, you know, marching their way to the Euro Tunnel. But, you know, I have faith. <laughs> Good work, Doctor. Doctor stealing, I can't remember what those called, those magna weights or whatever. The weights that, you know, when you attach it to something, that object loses all its mass. And so, you know, it, it's, you can just carry it with one hand, whatever it is, no matter what it is. I don't know what the plan is, but that is a useful tool to have Dora style, you know. <laughs> Time Lord signs. What Time Lord signs? <laughs> Doctor trying to figure it out as the Dalek fly away with it. Elevate. You know, they're basic words mainly. You know, mainly exterminate. A few elevates in there. There's a lot more words in there than you'd expect, honestly. A lot of elevate though as they fly up through the roof. I mean, they need a lot of space for that thing. So, you know, get it up. <laughs> Get it out of there. Get it away from the Cybermen as well. They're just annoying, you know? They're not hurting us, but it's just like a mosquito, you know? They keep biting. Time Lord Science. Bigger on the inside. The Time Lords put those Daleks in there. What for? It's a prison. Oh, no. <laughs> the Genesis Arc is the Dalek prison. Oh, God, no. <laughs> yeah, Time Lord Science, like the TARDIS. Bigger on the inside. Oh, I dread to think how many Dalek they have imprisoned in there, which are now out. And so, yeah, there are now no, no longer just four Dalek. There are God knows how many. And, you know, thinking about how four Dalek were tanking the Cybermen forces, I dread to think how this God knows how big a number of Dalek are going to do. <laughs> Oh my god, the panic. Yeah, millions of Dalek flying overhead to god knows, well, to, to everywhere, let's face it. The Cybermen trying to attack, but the Dalek taking them out, taking no prisoners, okay? Anyone out there, the chaos going on, the people running around as well, all getting taken, exterminated by the Dalek. This is such a dire situation, I have no idea how we get out on this one. <laughs> but I know, Jackson, you're coming with us. There's another world, and it's safe, as long as the Doctor closes the bridge. Doctor? Oh, I'm ready. Well, we can't just leave. What about the Dalek? And the Cybermen? They're part of the problem, and that makes them part of the solution. 
Oh, God. <laughs> the doctor's got his idea. And he loves these 3D glasses, okay? He just got his Spy Kids 3D DVD. He's got his 3D glasses on. He's, he's obsessed with them, okay? He's five years old. He's very... You know what? This dad shows the doctor. He is, like, one year old. He's not... Might even be one year old. How long have they been travelling since the Christmas special? I do not know. Pete... Wanted to get out of here fair. Wanted to jake Jackie with him. Yeah, he, he was all, dis you know, she ain't my wife. But now he's seen her, he cannot let her go, obviously. He wants to come with him, be with him on their earth. By faith in the doctor to solve this. I can see! We've got two separate worlds. But in between the two separate worlds, we've got the void. That's where the Daleks were hiding. The side men traveled. Look, I've been through it. Void stuff. <laughs> okay, yeah, thank God. I was waiting for him to explain. I assumed it was something, okay, because he kept putting them on. But yeah, he, he, he's, it's like I said earlier what they were for, actually. I got it, yeah. Because, yeah, multiple dimensions, 3D, MC, different dimensions. Yeah, they're helping him see the void. And you use that to his advantage. Somehow. He's a very smart man, okay? He absolutely wings everything he does, but God... He does it beautifully, doesn't he? The only one who hasn't been through the void? Your mother. I just opened the void and reversed. The void stuff gets sucked back inside. Put it in the morning! What's the void? Some people call it hell. You're sending the dialect to save mental health. I told you he was good. <laughs> Grew Mickey. As far as plans go, I will simply send the Dalek and the Scythe men to hell. It's top tier, honestly, because yes, please, just send them to hell. Get rid of them for good. Yes, please, Doc. Go ahead. <laughs> Smart, yeah. They all got the void stuff. So just put it in reverse. Get it to, instead of summoning the ghosts with the void or whatever suck them back into the void and get rid of them all i assume every, all these guys jake spiky pete would have to leave first because they've got the void stuff as well from coming through the portal and we don't want them to get sucked into hell but it's a solid plan doc like you said we've all got void stuff me too because we went to that parallel world we'll get pulled in that's why you've got to go back to pete's world i'm up in the void but only on this side you'll be safe on that side and then you close it for good and it'll close itself and that's it oh Rose not happily going to go along with that plan, is she? But yeah, Doctor's right. Only way to keep her safe is to send her to the other side of the void where he won't be opening it to Pete's world, you know? And, I, well, Jackie could stay. Maybe she'll choose to go, though. She'll probably will. If Rose is going, Pete, Jackie and Rose all together in Pete's world, you know, <laughs> it's a prospect of a future. But it's without the doctor, so Rose definitely won't be going with it, will she? But you stay on the side. Well, you'll get pulled in. That's why I got these. I just have to hold them tight and leave it on my life. I'm supposed to go to another world and then it gets sealed off. Yeah. Forever. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Yeah, like we said, like I said, Rose ain't going along with that, is she? Okay, she's far too in love with the doctor to just leave him forever like that, okay? Doctor with a good plan, though, so he doesn't get sucked in using those magnets. I wondered why I got them. I just attach them and hold on, because then, you know. They turn anything's mass to zero, so they'll just hold on to anything indefinitely and just hold on for his life so he doesn't get sick, sucked in until it closes itself. Bing, bang, boom. I'm not leaving it. I'm not going with that. Oh my God, we're going. I'm not leaving her. I've got all the things I've seen him do from stupid planet. He does it alone. But not anymore. It's now he's not me. What is... Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I've got... Sorry, I've got tears in my eyes. <laughs> Oh my god. That was emotional. Yeah, Rose not wanting to leave, obviously. Because she loves the Doctor. And she's got him and he's got her. And he, she wants to be with him forever. You know, as long as she can. But the Doctor wanting her to be safe. And then the only way to keep her safe and... You know, she, he also knows that if she doesn't go and he closes off it with Jackie, um, Jackie on the other side, she'll miss her mum. And wanting her to be happy. And, want, you know, wanting to keep her promise to Jackie to always bring her home to her. Putting the necklace on her and sending her to that earth. So she's safe. Even if being safe means being away from him. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. Oh, no, you don't. Don't do that to me again. I've got to go back. That's it. She's your daughter. It's your daughter, not mine. Hold her. You will never be able to see her again. I made my choice a long time ago and I'm never going to leave you. Oh, my God. It's all happening. First of all, Jackie... Um, the more Jackie especially maybe realising especially that uh, this Pete is not her Pete and it's not going to work, okay? Because she will do anything to go back and to be with her daughter for him ripping off the necklace from her and from Mickey as well because he knows Mickey is very rogue and would also go back just to save Rose. Oh, God. And the Doctor also not happy because he wants what's best for Rose and he knows how much she loves her mum and how much she'll be upset she won't be able to see her mum anymore but Rose choosing the Doctor. Of course, she will choose the Doctor every time because 
I keep saying it because they won't say it to each other. She loves him. <laughs> You will not pass. What is the meaning of this? I did my duty. Oh, pop. <laughs> Eva I, I'm so sorry. I don't know. Ivan, the head lady of Torchwood, her Cyberman form. <laughs> Stopping the Cybermen as they try and retreat to go and teleport back to their own world, to uh, Pete's world, um, and take that over instead of, you know, <laughs> like, well, this is a lost course. Let's go home, boys, yeah? <laughs> but stopping them from going up. Shout out you, okay? They were so distracted with all the chaos, obviously, they didn't fully get the chance to reprogram her. So they instead just put her brain in a giant suit of armor, essentially, <laughs> and made her ten times more dangerous. Leavers operational. Press the red button. When it starts, just hold on tight. Shouldn't be too bad for us. You ready? So are they. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Dalek sensing what the Doctor's doing like, hell no, stop him, stop him, stop him. They hate this man, okay? Whenever they try and scheme something up, the Doctor just appears at some point and stops them. <laughs> and they're like, hell no, not this time, okay? On Mr. Oncoming Storm, stop him. Exterminate. Let's do it! <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Rose hanging on for their life. <laughs> and the, the way the Dalek just flew in and started bouncing off the walls like a pinball machine. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> oh my god, they're going to be Dalek flying f through the sky from everywhere through this building. And Cybermen from everywhere as well. This is going to be dangerous airspace right now, guys. Into that void! <laughs> Shift. This is so funny. <laughs> it's such a funny image. The Cybermen start flying up and shooshing off. All the Dalek flying through the air. The way they're all just piles and piles of Dalek just all squishing together into this small space. <laughs> it's such a funny image. I really hope though that amongst all the adventures the Doctor and Rose have not skipped arm day. <laughs> Oh my god, no, this is too tense. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's starting to slip, which, fair enough, with the amount of energy pulling at it right now. Rose letting go of the magnet to try and pull the lever back. But, Jesus Christ, the pull on her as well from the portal. Oh, come on, Rose. Come on. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Brief. <laughs> Brief. I just need to take a second to breathe. <laughs> oh my god, the doctor's face, Rose's face as she slipped her grip, finally lost at the weight and the pressure against her. The doctor screams of helplessness at being able to do nothing to save her. As Pete appears at the last second realizing from his world that you know it might not be his daughter but he loves jackie he loves every version of jackie across every multiverse okay and he knows how heartbroken she would be without rose and i've yeah the only way out of this is to immediately teleporting back to the multiverse and leaving the doctor here but it had to be done he saved her. She's not dead at the very least. We have that. Systems closed. Amy, back! Aww. And the joy of Rose not dying immediately extinguished as, yeah, Pete immediately teleports back to his world with Rose saving her. But then the pain in the doctor's eyes and in her eyes and in her voice as... The portal and the door between worlds sucks in on itself and it's closed and there's no way back. <laughs> the amount of pain I'm feeling about two people leaning against a wall. Oh my god. <laughs> because yeah, different multiverse but the same wall. Oh, Rose crying tears in her eyes. 
touching the same place, but so, so, so far apart now. Both in pain, both hurt, but both separated forever. Last night I had a dream. I heard a voice calling my name. I told mum and dad and make it anyone else would think I was mad. They believed it because they've met the doctor. <laughs> The craziest thing is, with the Doctor, even if there was no way back between worlds, I would fully believe that he would spend the rest of his life figuring out a way back. Or at least he would want to figure, spend his life figuring a way back. You know, to open that breach, to go to see her, to be with her again. But, you know, there's too many people to help, there's too many people to save. Then that will, yeah, he, he cares too much about humanity to give up doing that, even for the woman he loves. Damn it. And that night, we packed up, got into Dad's old Jeep, and off we went, just like the dream said. Followed the voice hundreds and hundreds of miles, because he's calling. Rose. Oh, this is the beach. Okay. Okay, that explains it, okay? Because in the opening of the first app, and of this app, um, she was at this beach with the open monologue of, you know, this is how Rose Tyler died. This is the beach, you know? Uh, and why she's at the beach, because she heard the doctor's voice in her dream, and it told her to come here. Which she did, but why? Oh, what is here? <laughs> this is a story of how I died. Where are you? Inside the TARDIS. There's one tiny little gap in the universe left. And it takes a lot of power to send this projection. I'm burning up a sun just to say goodbye. Yeah, that's the Doctor. He would burn up God knows how many suns just to say goodbye and see Rose one last time. You know, just a small gap. Not enough to come through or to bring her back through, but enough to say goodbye. <sighs> At least he'll get to say goodbye. Especially after, you know, never saying goodbye to... Sarah Jane. Sarah Jane? Yeah, Sarah Jane Smith. Yes. <laughs> um, I think, yeah, the Doctor realising how important it is to say goodbye. Can I? I'm just an image. No touch. Can you come through properly? The whole thing was fracture. Two universes would collapse. So? <laughs> Rose would care about that. She wouldn't care about two universes collapsing and everyone dying, including herself and the Doctor, just to see him and hold him and be with him one last time, as it does, you know? She'd happily be at the end of the world if she's in the Doctor's arms. Where did the gap come out? We're in Norway. It's called Dalek on Stranden. Dalek? Dalek. This translates as bad wolf bay. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> After everything, you know, the final goodbye happening here in Norway, a place called Bad Wolf Bay. <laughs> Rose, who left all the bad wolf messages. This is where they say goodbye. Bad wolf coming into play in another finale involving the Dalek. <laughs> I can't think of what to say. <laughs> Mr. Mickey, then? There's five of us there. Mum, Dad, Mickey, and the baby. You're not. No, Mum. Three months gone, little Tyler's on the way. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, Jackie and Pete, they wasted no time making up for lost time, eh? <laughs> Got little Tyler on the way. Damn. <laughs> Rose, little sister on the way, good for you. Or little... Little brother? Yeah, Tyler's a boy's name. I have seen... I have met a girl Tyler, though. It's usually a boy though, but right? Well, what about you? What are you? Still a torture on this planet, so open for business. I think I know a thing or two about aliens. Rose Tyler, defender of the Earth. You're dead, officially, back home. Yeah, that makes sense. The story about Rose Tyler died in her world. She moved to this one. I'm glad she's not dead dead, you know? Even if her and the Doctor can't see each other again after this, I'm glad she's not dead dead at the very least, you know? She gets to live a life here with the people she loves, even if the most important one for her, the Doctor, isn't there. I'm working at Torchwood. <laughs> Rose Tyler, the protector of the Earth. <laughs> Am I ever going to see you again? You can't. What are you going to do? Oh, I've got a TARDIS. It's my old life. On your own. I love you. It's quite right. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> it took these two crazy kids long enough to say it. <laughs> oh, why did I have to wait till now? <laughs> oh, damn it. Damn it. Yeah, the Doctor will just carry on being the Doctor. Alone? No. He'll find others, obviously. It's the Doctor. Like Torchwood said, you know, it's always the Doctor and his companion. Um, you know. For this Doctor, at the very least, none of them will ever be you, Rose, but... It's what it is. Damn it. Oh, God. I need to... Go. <laughs> I need to just keep the tissue on hand. <laughs> it's my last chance to say it. Rose Tyler. Oh. 
doctor just about to say it back to Rose, because obviously he loves her. She knows that, he knows that. Just about to say it, and then running out of energy. <laughs> and then the cut, Rose crying on the beach, and then the cut to the doctor in the TARDIS. Tears streaming down his eyes. Mouth ready about to say the words, but unable to say it. You know? Oh, Christ. Why did none of you warn me this was going to be this emotional? <laughs> I, would, I would have prepared myself. Like, I wouldn't have been able to prepare myself. <laughs> That highlights it, I guess, really well. Rose Tyler in pain, in tears, but not alone. She's on the beach. She runs into the arms of her mother. Her father and her best friend are watching, and they're in the distance. But then you cut to the doctor, alone in the TARDIS, crying, but having to wipe his own tears and just get on with it. Because, this is, yeah, it's like he said back in episode three, school reunion, you know, he's destined in the end to be alone. What? What? Who are you? Where am I? What? What the hell is this place? <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> I appreciate Doctor Who for that, the way they blend emotions. Because I'm here, why am I tears? And then they end making me laugh. <laughs> Doctor, ready to just carry on, flipping switches, ready to you know teleport away to the next adventure, alone. And then looking up... <laughs> And a random bride standing here. That's um, that's Catherine Tate's nan, isn't it? I can't remember her name. Is it might just be Catherine Tate? <laughs> I know that's Catherine Tate's nan, actress, and she because I know she was in Doctor Who, and she's very good. That is, she's here. Uh already for next episode, we'll be reacting to the Christmas special, The Runaway Bride. She is the bride. I'm assuming. <laughs> that was amazing. Hi, it's me again, the ghost of Matthew Future. I, as expected, honestly, at this point, it's honestly embarrassing the amount I keep forgetting to do this. I'm going to leave a sticky note on my computer when I record now, just saying score, so I remember to talk about it instead of having to do this every time, but Murray Gold, shout out for this episode, because my man absolutely murdered this, okay? And in so many different ways, okay, the Dalek and Sidemen themes, whatever, okay, incredible as always, and the general music. But the difference is, like, the haunting kind of just drum and echoed s singing from the woman in the scene where the Doctor and Rose think they're fully separated after she's gone into the thing and it's shut off and the portal's closed and they're both against the wall versus, you know, the big orchestra swelling at the end as the Doctor's ghost fades as they say goodbye for the last time. Just the duality of everything he's able to do <laughs> with so many different instruments as well. It's just absolutely incredible honestly i'm forever blown away by the score that murray gold has been able to create and continues to create for this show i think that's my favorite episode yet dalek was number one but that might have topped it i'll have to think about it if you are curious i am making a tier list <laughs> i am making a list of my favorite episodes um so when i've finished all of it i'll put out my rankings if you're curious about that stuff but that's it for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below as season two comes to a close. I want to hear your thoughts. I would love to hear your thoughts. I've loved hearing your thoughts all throughout. And after this emotional finale, I'd really like to hear your thoughts. I really, really would. Is, did anyone else deal with that emotionally bad than I did throughout this episode? I'm curious. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But that is going to be it for today. I really hope you have enjoyed. I really do. Please leave a like if you have. And subscribe for more next as next time we jump into the Christmas special. And then season three, which I'm told is very good and I'm very excited for. Even without... Rose Tyler. Live your life, Rose. Hope you enjoy it. Um, and yeah, thank you for all the support as we finish season two. It's been amazing, your support and all the comments with, you know, lore and facts um, and suggestions for scenes to check out, deleted scenes and stuff. It's been incredible and hearing your thoughts. So thank you so much for that. It's really appreciated. And that's it for today. Yeah, yeah. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. Leave a like, subscribe for more so you don't miss a thing as we continue this adventure in Doctor Who. And as always, I just want to say a very special thank you for watching.